I need is a little bit of help to get me through to the next job. And uh, I just get, like I said, roadblocks and, and uh, no help. Another Oregonian becoming homeless while waiting for the employment department to process a claim. It's the fourth case like this we have covered in the past two weeks. K2 is on your side investigating the delays that are causing all of this. K2's Christina Giardinelli is at the live desk now after talking to a man who got evicted two weeks ago while waiting for unemployment. And Christina, you talked to the employment department about this case, right? Yeah, I did. And they say the reason his claim is delayed is that he missed an appointment for job skills training. But he says he was never told he had to do that. I verified his side of the story on his online account, and I'm still waiting on the unemployment department, sorry, on the employment department to share evidence of their side of the story. Jason Pence says he and his dog Tallulah would probably be on the streets if it weren't for the hotel points he accumulated through work travel. If I didn't have that or if I eventually exhaust that, um, I, I literally have nowhere to go. He estimates his points and savings will keep a roof over their head for another 30 days at the most. In the meantime, he hopes the employment department will process the claim he filed after he was laid off at the beginning of February. It's uh, demoralizing. You know, when you need help, you need benefits, you're in dire straits, and you're trying to maintain a roof over your head and pay your bills, and I cannot even get a human being on the telephone. Because he hasn't been paid, he was about to be evicted from his apartment. He ended up settling with his landlord shortly before he was to appear in court. We worked out an arrangement so he would not pursue the eviction if I were to voluntarily vacate. Since the Oregon Employment Department switched to a new software, K2 has been receiving daily calls and emails from applicants experiencing lengthy delays. The department says the new software is not the problem. Jason signed a release form allowing them to talk to us about his claim. They tell me there was an issue with his eligibility. They say he missed a required job skills appointment. Jason says he was never told he needed to schedule that appointment, so he didn't. In fact, he showed us the only email exchanges on his account with the department saying all of the steps on his end were taken care of. $106 million were, were spent on this new Francis Online. Uh, a computer system over a course of several years and it was supposed to alleviate all these problems but I don't see any any solutions I only see hindrances and roadblocks now the employment department claims uh, Jason confirmed the appointment in an email and I did ask them to provide me with that email and I'm still waiting on that but we'll share updates when I get them the agency did not agree to an interview but shared a written statement saying they sympathize with Jason's situation and acknowledging that it's been hard for him to get a hold of them at the live desk Cristina Giardinelli K2 News Cristina thank you